Hey guys, welcome back. We are here at the aqueduct and we got a fish on. Not legal, it's a small guy. First fish today, first catch. Nice little good looking guy. Never been caught before. Right on. Let's get a release on him. next setup I have what's called a rooster tail a lot of you know about it some of you don't uh, a lot of you guys know that this is very common in the fishing world I've used these a lot when I first started getting into fishing I've caught largemouth bass on these on the smaller ones but this one's a half ounce rooster tail or maybe even a one ounce not very sure but I'm gonna give it a try if it works on largemouth bass I don't see why it wouldn't work on striped bass stripers so I'm going to give it a shot and see what happens. I have never seen anybody catch or heard of anybody catching a striper on a rooster tail here in the aqueduct. So today I'm going to give it a try and see if it happens. See if we can hook up. Well, here we go. I think he went to, to swipe at it and he might have hooked himself. It's a really big striper. Look at that. Woo! Yeah! This is gonna be my personal best striper. It's a really beautiful striper. Oh, oh yeah, I got him right in the eye. Got him. Woo hoo! Look at that, guys. Beautiful striper my personal best striper I believe really good one As you guys can see I snagged him right by the eye right up underneath the eyelid actually oh my gosh what a beautiful it's my personal best striper <clears throat> look at that a really good healthy striper actually snagged them right by the eye you guys can see oh, let's pull that out got it all right woohoo Look at that, guys. Nice striper, nice. Beautiful. So good, healthy fish. All right, guys, we're going to measure him. See if he measures out. See if he passes. Let's see. What do we got? We're looking at about 19 and a half inches. Yeah, 19. 19 inches. So he's legal. We're gonna keep him, he's strung up, and we're gonna weigh him now. All right, so scales zero, zero. Two pounds, 14 ounces. He weighs two pounds, 14 ounces. It's a good size fish. All right, he's not my personal best, but we'll take it. We're going to go ahead and head out to the next location and see if we can get something out there. We'll see you guys there. All right, guys, we got a fish. Looks like we got American Shad. Oh, 
Alright. It's my first shad. Check it out. Oh man, these guys are big. Big old shad, look at them. Wow. Dang, these guys are crazy. Wow, man, wow. This is my first shad, guys. Wow, right on. I have never ever caught an American shad before. Wow, these are awesome. <laughs> oh wow, this is awesome, oh man, wow you guys are pretty, you guys are awesome, oh. try not to mess up this guy's mouth. Wow, there it is, guys. Wow. Look at that. It's my first American Shad. That's awesome. All right, let's get another one. There he goes. Let's get another one. All right, guys, we're back. We're hooked up. I have a buddy here that's fishing with me. He let me use his rattle trap. I don't know what it is we got on. It's my first time using a rattle trap. I've never used them before. So we got one on. I don't know what it is. Got a shad. Woo! Man, these guys fight hard. Oh, yeah. It's American Shad. I'm gonna get tired. Cool. Man, these guys are crazy. Wow. <laughs> on your on your rattle trap, buddy. <laughs> Yeah, this gentleman right next to me, he let me use his rattle trap. And I was like, oh, I'll throw it on, give it a try. And sure enough, it hit. So there are American Shad in these aqueducts. As you guys can see, uh, these are what the stripers love to feed on. But here in California, it's against the law in the book to use them as bait or even uh, to use them as cut bait or live bait. It is illegal. It, it does say it in the book. So, but at the end of the at the end of the day, it is up to the game warden whether they want to write you a ticket or not to use them as bait in any way. So, it's all up to the game warden. They may let you slide, they may not. So, it's up to the game warden whether they want to write you a ticket or not. So, but they are a lot of fun to catch. They they're really really strong fish. I thought really thought it was a striper. So, you guys can fish for them and have a good time. But like I said, me personally, I wouldn't, I'm not gonna use them as bait because they're illegal to use them as bait. So it's up to you guys if you want to use them. So, all right, well, let's get them off and we'll get another one. So here he is. <laughs> right on. Uh, yeah, yeah, they do because I it just got me. <laughs> Ouch, that hurt. <laughs> uh, right on, there it is, guys. <laughs> very pretty fish, very colorful. Check it out. Pretty, pretty fish. So, 
we'll, we'll get some more and we'll see you guys in a bit. Fish on, guys. Fish on. Try to grab another shad. Have you seen one yet? No? I have a holographic color to it, huh? Now poke it! Poke him! Poke him! <laughs> As we're hooked up again. This one might be a striper actually. Can you see him? Yeah, got another shot guys. Yeah. Stop it. Stop it. God, man. I'm trying to release them so this one don't die. Oh, yeah, he's done. Hey. Right. Sorry, buddy. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> All right, you guys. It looks like that might end up being it. So I want to thank you guys for watching my channel, Hook 'em and Book 'em Outdoors. Feel free to share, like, and subscribe to my channel anytime. Share it with your friends and family. And uh, get out here and fish because uh, this is what it's about. Get out here with your friends and family and have a good time. Enjoy the beautiful scenery. Very pretty out here. So I want to thank you guys for your support and have a good one. We'll see you guys next time.